Hello, today we're going to make Dutch letters. First thing we're going to do here is make the pastry or the filling. First thing I'm going to put in is the almond paste. So you need a large bowl to put this in. That's good. And then you add the one cup of sugar, one egg, and then last but not least, the half teaspoon of lemon extract. And then once you got them all together, you're gonna mix them up. Once you have done that, we'll make sure it's all mixed up. And that is the filling of the Dutch letters. Now that we have gotten done with the filling of the Dutch letters, we're now gonna put it in our homemade pastry bag here. We're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna cut the corner a little small hole so we can paste it onto the dough once we're done with the dough. And once you got most of it in there, make sure you squeeze it down to the corner. And then later we'll cut a hole right there so we can paste it on the dough. Okay, so now that we're done making the filling, we're now gonna make the dough. And while we are doing all this, make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So the first thing you got to do to make the dough is measure out four cups of flour, which I already have done with all my other ingredients that I already have measured out. So when you're mixing this up, you want to gradually add a little bit of water and then throw in some of your two cups of butter, which I already have pre-cut up since it's easier, since I'm a cripple. As you can see, and it's hard to do it with just a fork, so I decided to put my hands in there. Make sure you have washed hands, not dirty hands. Nobody likes dirty hands in their Dutch letters, so. And my fingers are very sticky. The dough is pretty much done. Okay, now that we have gotten our dough done, You want to take your dough, you want to plop it on there, and that's uh, how you roll your dough out. Okay. I rolled it out a little bit more, make sure it got a little bit more flat to one eighth of an inch. Ooh, excuse me there. Start from the center and then you go down to one side. And then you can make it in the traditional S shape, like the Dutch people do. And there you go.